Hello everyone and welcome back. In the first video in our series, we discussed three of 10 useful guidelines that we believe will help you enjoy a better, more rewarding investment experience. Let's take a look at a few more. Number four, become an educated and informed consumer. There will always be a salesperson out there promising you higher returns, but bear this in mind, the law of higher returns doesn't constitute due diligence. What do I mean by that? I'll give you a great example that everyone can relate to. Bernard Madoff, the famous Ponzi scam artist, promised consistent returns in up and down markets. Very alluring promise indeed. However, he couldn't tell anybody how he was doing it because then everyone would know his secret and they'd copy his investment strategy, is how he explained it. What we've come to learn is that he wasn't investing the money at all. People were blindly handing over their money based on the lore of higher returns. It's incumbent upon you, indeed, it's partly your responsibility to have an understanding at a high level of how your money is being invested. Higher returns means higher risk. Higher risk is a double-edged sword. Sometimes you'll benefit from it, and sometimes it'll hurt. So don't fall for the higher returns without understanding the investment strategy. Number five, include your financial advisor in all of your family's large expense purchase considerations. This one has always confounded me. I'd have clients periodically call me up and say they bought a second home. Uh, they made a, a large purchase of something that uh, uh, they had had on their minds but didn't share with me before they bought it. And I might have been able to help them purchase it in a more efficient manner. So it's not just about investments. Part of comprehensive, holistic financial planning is sharing with your advisor what you're thinking about doing with your money in the future and not just in the investment arena. Number six, being a long-term investor and not a speculator requires patience. Markets go up and down, as will your account's value. Volatility in markets is the price one must pay to get the returns of the market. And point number six is very closely related to point number seven. There are many worthwhile investment strategies out there, but none of them work all the time. These are related because you can have an excellent investment strategy, but if you don't give it the opportunity to work, you're not going to benefit from it. What you don't want to do is be a returns chaser. When markets are volatile and your account value is down, or if your account, uh, your investment strategy hasn't performed to your satisfaction for a year or two even, you don't want to be jumping into another investment strategy for two reasons. Number one, you should fully understand why isn't my investment strategy working the way I'm hoping. Talk to your financial advisor. Oftentimes, an investment strategy is out of favor for years at a time. It doesn't mean you should abandon it. And number two, the lure of higher returns is what causes you to move to another investment strategy. In other words, it's already done well and you've missed the move that brought your attention to that investment strategy. So you want to be patient. You want to accept volatility in an investment strategy. It's between you and your financial advisor to try to ascertain how much volatility you can withstand. What does that really mean? Are you sleeping at night? Are you up worrying about your money? If you are, you're taking on too much volatility and you have to reevaluate your asset allocation. Uh, but once you've accepted the investment strategy and you're comfortable with it, give it time to work. Patience is probably the single most important factor in being a successful investor. That's the end of part two. Thanks for watching. In the final part of this series, we'll discuss how a little knowledge of your portfolio's investment philosophy and holdings, as well as some awareness of yourself and your tolerance for risk, may help you avoid some common investor pitfalls. I'm Pat Sweeney. Thanks for watching.